Hey guys, how are you man? Welcome back, it's Manny. This is gonna be the last video I'm gonna make on the Franklin Cromer uh, switch box. I told you guys I sent it to him. Um, I wanted a girl on the inside, I wanted some carbon fiber. So as you can see, carbon fiber all around it. Put a nice little girl in there and this box belongs to Manny. Carbon fiber on the door on the sides, on the back. I'm talking about it everywhere. So that's what I wanted. As you can see, this is that switch box I was telling you about. There's that little switch. You can actually see it right now. It's in series at 408. and 816 in series. Um, I got it back just like I wanted her, totally perfect. So she's looking good, hitting good, and I'm talking about a hard hard. With the four MOSFETs that it's got in it, it hits good. That's in parallel about like a five second pull. So she's hitting good. So um, I just wanted to let you know, oh yeah, he changed from a, a very 510 to the big, to the fat daddy 510. So the small one. So at least it's flush with the box. The box is even. He sands them down so it stands up even. They don't tip over, even with the tank. So that's the next first thing. Second thing is the meter. The meter needs to be in the front. So when you're actually firing the box here, see the voltage on it. So at least I got her back looking good. She's functioning fine. Um, hitting harder than a rock. And series is amazing the way she kicks. So um, if you're looking for something like that, Franklin Cromer is the man if you want perfection. And um, I sent it to him. He charged me uh, $8. And for the 510 and the work and all that, all together, I PayPal'd him 20 bucks. So if you want to get a good box for the money, and some place in the U.S. that you can change it. I forgot to tell you guys last time, I had like three or four of those Filipino boxes. Um, you know, they hit good to be in series, but you see people selling them within a week. So they really, they're not that dependable. I had one that the contact melted on the top, uh, I called the company I just got it from, and I told them, hey guys, my box is fried, I'm gonna send it to you, I want another one. They told me, we're very sorry, but that has to do with the manufacturer. Well, the manufacturer is the Philippines. So by the time I packed it, sent it to the Philippines, it took about two or three weeks to get there. Then the guys let it sit, at their place for another week before they even looked at it. By the time they repaired it and sent it to me, it took another three weeks to get to me. So I waited on that box like three months. I had to buy a replacement box. I couldn't be three months without a damn box. So that's when I learned that you need to buy, I buy, I buy from this guy who's in Louisiana. I sent it to Louisiana and I have it back it takes two days to get there. He works on it that one day, sends it back the next day. So I'm out of the box like five days. So I either rough it or I have a backup box that he sent me. Um, but that for me like a long time ago, over almost a year ago. And it's, you saw that on the other video, the red one, the fire box. Uh, it's still working like a clock and I use that now as my backup box. So if you're gonna have a Filipino box, a China box that you need to send to China to get fixed, well, get ready to wait about three months. I'd rather buy here. 
The guy that's making them in the U.S., I send it to him, he fixes them, and sends them right back to me. That's the way it should be. Within four days, five days, my box is back, and I'm happy. So, thanks a lot for watching again, and keep looking up. Quad MOSFET switch box. That way you have two boxes in one. So you have a um, parallel and together a switch box in one machine. So for you guys that are serious about vaping, I don't know what else to tell you. So this is the last time I'm going to be doing this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks a lot again for watching, all right? This is... I don't know how to do this hurricanes, but hopefully you see something. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, all right?